Coming is a sign of faith. Hallelujah. Is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I know that God is going to do mighty things tonight. I know by the spirit that certain people will part with some mountains forever. Because he's alive. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Spirit of the living God. Once again we trust you to do mighty things. We can of ourselves do nothing. But we thank you for your ability. That irresistible power. You are the glory of God at work in our lives. And I thank you because Jesus will be glorified tonight. Let the sick be healed, O oh God. No matter what the condition is. Let everyone under the yoke and the influence of any power other than you be delivered and be set free. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let the reality of your power be demonstrated. Once again, let your people know they have a God that is alive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please greet everyone you can find around you. Give them a big hug. Welcome them. This is our March Miracle Service. Come on, Koinonia, you are too cold. Have a, just go around greet people. inside can you shout hallelujah those outside show them you know what you're doing can you shout hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord John 2 just share a few things and then we will prove to the devil Jesus was not joking when he hung on the cross. Thou art welcome in this place, omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome in this place, for you are glorious. And worthy to be praised, you are the Lamb upon the throne, and on to you we lift our hands to praise, you are the Lamb.
we thank you because you are the lamb upon the throne the Bible says if I be lifted I will draw all men to myself tonight we pray that you be lifted in the midst of your people thank you because of the mighty things you will do in this place we give you all the praise in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I welcome everyone this is our March miracle service we thank God for what he's going to be doing can you celebrate Jesus hallelujah we specially appreciate all those who have taken the time to come from various places outside of this city we honor you we love you God bless you you will never be disappointed there are many families here there are many people who have come from different places praise the Lord the Lord will surely visit you in the name of Jesus Christ the church of God is a victorious church hallelujah please listen i just want to build on something small and then we'll pray the church of the lord jesus christ the church that jesus birthed is not some weak and beggarly religious church that just exists to keep scrounging and walking as if jesus told us a lie how many of you believe that this bible is real how many of you believe that this bible is the truth how many of you believe that jesus died you must believe it the bible says he that comes to god must believe hallelujah i thank god for a platform like koinonia and i honor the lord with no bias because it is a prophetic place where the demonstration of the reality of the kingdom is made manifest i will never want to represent a god who is powerless hallelujah why should i stand and tell people that jesus died and i was not there and there is no way to prove it when jesus died on the cross he said it is finished and all the powers of hell heard him hallelujah lots of people teach about jesus being victorious we write books about the victory of Jesus. We write books and, and we preach all kinds of messages about the glory of God. Hallelujah. But there are very few people who can become envoys of the demonstration of the reality of this glory. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Our God is a powerful God. Don't let your circumstances rise to a point where they diminish the power of God. My God is mighty. That's why we sang that song. He's a savior that can move mountains. Hallelujah. Jesus left us a powerful gospel. Jesus left us a victorious life. Jesus did not die to just bring some average people who are under the mercy of Satan. Can I tell you something? Satan is not the opposite of Jesus. I've said this thing again and again. Because the theology that many people have been taught in church is that Satan is touched not. Don't touch him, he won't touch you. Who told you? Hallelujah. There are all kinds of cold ministries and churches who make many members sit down and wonder they read what the Bible says here. The Bible says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth in me, the works that I do, he shall also do. He said, And greater works. We've preached all versions of what we believe to be greater works. Hallelujah. Jesus defeated Satan. He defeated hell and the grave. And he rose again. But many people say amen. But our life is not stamping that amen. Hallelujah. And there are many of us preachers. That claim we are called. We even claim we are anointed. Do you know what the anointing is? The anointing is not something that throws people on the floor. If that's all the anointing does. Then we too. Hurricane is also anointed. 
Are you getting my point now? The anointing is God's ability to do work. The same power that created the universe. Hallelujah. That's the power that can quench the voice of every evil. Listen, let me tell you something. It's so sad that even in the body of Christ today, when people are delivered from the hand of darkness, hallelujah, they are criticized and people say, deliverance is over. Are you joking? The hallmark of the demonstration of the authority is the displacement of darkness by light. Praise the Lord. There are many people who go to church every Sunday, every Monday, every Tuesday. We sit down there and the devil is tying many destinies down. And the preacher comes with his manuscript and comes to recite all kinds of poems. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. The Lord left us a church of power. He left us a church of authority. Are you getting my point? And let me tell you something. We have no right to stop people from going to herbalists and witch doctors until the church becomes a place of light where people can come genuinely. We are very quick to criticize people and say, why did you go to the herbalist? Why did you go to this and that and that? But let me tell you something. If the church cannot solve the problem of people, they will keep going to every herbalist possible. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because people are desperate for a solution. It's easy for us to sit down as men of God with our suit and ties and all the protocols around. And there are people who are, there are some of you right now. In this place, your issue is a matter of life and death. Your sickness is a terminal disease. You may just be laughing. But you know that you have, they've given you the range of time to live. There are people who have traveled risking themselves on the road. Will they just come and sit down and watch a man on suit and watch nicely dressed people? Are you joking? The church of the Lord Jesus Christ has become so powerless with men of God bragging all around. Yet there are demons and principalities. There are all kinds of things tying the lives of people down. And we preach all kinds of message to explain away responsibility. The God that saved me is a powerful God. The God that anointed me is a powerful God. And the last time I checked my Bible, I never saw Satan arguing with God. Are you getting what I'm saying? The Bible tells us that he entered a city and he, when he entered a city, it was noise. Let's go to our Bibles. Ah, my body is itching me to do something for the devil this night. Mark 1. I believe in the power of God. Oh. I believe in the power of God. Someone said, I don't believe in healing. I said, no problem. The day the doctors cannot help you, you will believe. Surely, or the day your brother or sister is diagnosed with something that the doctors cannot cure, you will believe that miracles are real. There are people, even maybe some of you sitting down right now, you don't even believe that miracles are real. You are welcome. Hallelujah. It's sad that we live in a generation where men of God fake miracles. They call somebody to sit on a wheelchair and then they say stand up and he stands up. And Nigerian films have been they have received a recent baptism from the devil to mock men of god hallelujah and they act all kinds of films and the man of god is casting the devil and the devil will turn and slap the man of god and then the man of god will be paralyzed these kinds of teachings and they scorn men of god let me tell you something not everybody is fake there are people who have met God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And all this mockery that they mock men of God and make them powerless. 
and you see a man praying and the demons are around they are even dancing and rejoicing choking except where the, the bible says the light shines in the darkness and it says the darkness not only lives but it cannot comprehend it hallelujah mark thank you jesus mark 1 verse 21 let me just read a few scriptures to let us know that this kingdom is a kingdom of power this kingdom is a kingdom of grace it's a kingdom of strength don't sit helpless as though satan cannot bow let me tell you something he can bow we have watched a lot of witchcraft activities we have seen so many things in our families and because of that many people have come to believe that nothing can be done we've stayed around a lot of unbelief verse 21 and they went to Capernaum and straight away on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught 22 and they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one with authority and not as the scribes 23 and there was in their synagogue a man who had what an unclean spirit and when Jesus entered the unclean spirit cried out 24 saying let us alone I mean Jesus shows up in a synagogue and a man is sitting quietly and the light and power that emanates from him compels those demons to say leave us alone this is in your Bible Christians this is in your Bible he said what have we to do with thee thou Jesus of Nazareth you now see why he told Paul Jesus we know Had thou come to destroy us i know thee who thou art the holy one of god 25 and jesus rebuked him saying hold thy peace and come out of him verse 26 and when the unclean spirit had turned him and cried with a loud voice he came out of him 27 and they were all amazed you know why because until the new testament they didn't cast out demons they isolated those who had demons and stoned them at times. Are you getting my point? Because they did not have that ability. So when they saw this happen, that a man can speak, this was a demonstration of the superiority of the kingdom of our God. He said, they were amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying, what thing is this? What new doctrine is this? for with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits and they and they did the bible said they, they argued but the kind of church that we are marketing to believers today is the kind of church where believers argue we we argue and you tell people be healed and the devil just sits there and all kinds of people come to church year after year and after year and nothing changes in their lives this is jesus i'm telling you jesus inspires me goodness read verse 32 jesus inspires me sometimes when i begin to read the bible i just begin to cry i say what manner of man what manner of man 32 and when it was evening when the sun did set they brought to him how many all that were diseased they knew he was going to heal them pastors do the members of our churches know we can heal them do they know people just argue and say me i don't have the healing ministry i, I just my own is just to teach we find the aspect that is easy and we capitalize on it show me who had the healing ministry in the bible they brought unto him all that were diseased and them that were what possessed with devils what did he do and all the city kabalako satabaya all the city came and gathered in front of the door 
because they were desperate for solution. Hear me, brothers and sisters. The world is still desperate for solution. And they will do anything. And he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him. Hallelujah. 35. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place. Listen, because he had this ability to heal and deliver, he ran just to go and pray. And let's see what happened. 36. And Simon and they that were with him followed after him. 37. And when they had found him, they said what? Unto him, all men seek for thee. Why do they seek for thee? Many preachers think members come to church because they love them. You better stop dreaming. These people love themselves and they have problems. If you cannot solve their problems, get ready to be frustrated in ministry. So if a herbalist can do what a pastor should do, your members will come to church on Sunday. Immediately after the grace, they will take their honorarium and all their empty bottles and whatever and race down to go and meet a herbalist that they think they can seek for and try to look for power. If peradventure, the problem can be solved. But brothers and sisters, I bring you a message tonight. There is a God that is alive. Jesus is alive. Say it one more time. Jesus is alive. Say it again. Jesus is alive. We talk so much about the glory of God. We want to see your glory. Oh God, show us your glory. And I always ask, what is the glory of God? What is the glory of God? When we say, Lord, reveal your glory in the midst of your people. When we say, bring revival. What exactly are we talking about? Gold dust, sparks of light. When we ask him to reveal his glory, let me tell you what the revelation of the glory is. John 1. Sorry, chapter 2. Chapter 2, verse 11. Let's see what the Bible says. John 2, verse 11. It's projected. Can we read together? One to read. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory. Hold on. How did he manifest his glory? How did he manifest his glory? By the demonstration of miracles, signs and wonders. When he did things that astonished them. The revelation of the kingdom of God. The Bible says as a result his disciples believed on him. That means when the glory is truly revealed. It makes men believe in the name of the Lord. John the Baptist was caught and he was there in prison and he got angry. And the Bible says when he heard about the things that Jesus was doing, he sent, he said they should go and ask Jesus, Are thou the Christ? In other words, are you the anointed one or should we expect another? Jesus did not answer. He said, go and tell him the things that you see and hear. The blind see, the lame walk, the deaf, their ears are open, the dead are raised. This is the manifestation of the kingdom. If your family comes today and they come and receive breakthroughs and all kinds of cancers and tumors and demonic things leave them, let me tell you something, they will believe in the name of the Lord. It's very difficult to resist the power of God when you see it in action. Hallelujah. It's very, very difficult. The Lord wants us to believe in him. While I was coming, I saw something around the market. I think I was going to PZ in the afternoon. And I saw somebody that gathered people around. People just gathered. You know, all these men that tried to do all kinds of things. No invitation. And the people gathered. 
and I said this God's own version will happen this night hallelujah I believe in him he didn't leave us a weak and beggarly gospel he left us a gospel of power that can be demonstrated here and now everybody say the power of God is real and can be demonstrated here and now so I bring you a word of encouragement especially for those of us who have come from different places by the grace of God with all humility I assure you that this is not just a place you come around to just laugh and feel good and go something will change in your life because Jesus is alive and we believe him we believe him a man approved of God with miracles signs and wonders God has approved of us with miracles and signs and wonders and tonight let me tell you we are here to put an end to the activities of wickedness hallelujah there are many of us who are seated right here especially for those of us who are just coming here someone sent me a text I think as early as two or three this morning a lady and she said she woke up and she had a very terrible dream and in the dream another woman was molesting her and all kinds of things she said and this thing has happened again and again you go and meet an average preacher he says oh you don't have faith if you had faith the person would not come are you joking <laughs> whereas the preachers too are suffering their own demons oppressed me for many years I was healing the sick and casting out devils I was still being oppressed by demon spirits my own is not like a dream I saw it so it's, it's not like somebody is preaching a gospel another gospel I have experienced it I know that demons don't respect title there is only one language that commands respect in the spirit they can call you apostle they can call you whatever you want to be called no matter how mad a madman is he never enters fire by mistake he can carry something that doesn't belong they say i'll ah, leave him he's mad but as mad as he is when he sees fire he will turn back the bible says he maketh his angels spirits and his ministers flames hallelujah no matter how mad a man is pastor he doesn't enter fire because in his madness he knows what fire can do hallelujah and the bible says how all inspiring are your ways it says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves i saw the devil jeopardize my family I knew where my father came from and I saw the activities of witchcraft and wickedness that happened. A lot of preachers preached me into believing everything was alright. But I knew that it is true that Christ died on the cross. But I knew that. See, let me tell you. Look up, please. Knowing what Jesus has done is not revelation. It is knowing what you need to do to make it a reality that is revelation many people have knowledge let me tell you, i preached somewhere you can get the message and i said the key to accessing the glory and demonstrating the reality of the kingdom is not knowledge is understanding understanding tells you how to make something real here and now The day I caught a revelation and a light in my spirit, I ran home. I ran home and I stood in front of my door. And I said, the demons that oppress me, I beg you, please come. This is not just some jamboree that we do in church. I knew it entered me. And let me assure you, ask the devil till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. But I never knew it was real. I prayed. I fasted. 
seven days fasting at the end of that fasting they will come and oppress me let me tell you i prayed i fasted just like many of you have been fasting but there are laws in this kingdom things don't just happen because you are born again are you listening to me there are families that have come mama let me tell you god is going to visit you as i'm standing here i'm already seeing oppression this is you being tied tied this is what i'm seeing do you know a man can be walking physically but spiritually he's in prison go and read your bible he said to open the doors of the prison the people did not know they are in prison physically you are walking physically you are moving someone lives abroad and just comes back to remain in the village they say my brother why did you come back he said me too i don't know i'm not ashamed of the gospel many of you are many of you don't know why paul said i am not ashamed if you understand the gospel very well it takes courage to preach it because it's not attractive so paul said i am not ashamed of every aspect of the gospel that must be taught hallelujah we have seen all kinds of oppressions all kinds of things i've shared with you in this place a woman who came for counseling every time when she sleeps she sees monkeys coming to molest her and she had stillbirth at uh, the teaching hospital in shika and um, not shika the other one in P in uh, pz you know that one there in sabo and she gave birth to half man half monkey dead physically how do you explain this look let me tell you come to terms with the fact that this world is a wicked world are you getting me if you get this thing this is deliverance for you this night because you will stop listening to many messages that don't make sense at once you will know that if you do not arise and stamp the devil where he belongs he will eat you up as if jesus did not die hallelujah i believe in the power of god i am convinced that every believer should be a threat to the kingdom of darkness I prayed for some ladies i think you were there kenny some ladies that came and i prayed for them one of the ladies she had not slept for a long time because these demons come to oppress her she can't sleep when i prayed for her i casted out that devil of darkness there and then it was less than 10 seconds she started sleeping you see what is killing some of our parents they hold their drugs on their hands but the sleep will not come the bible says he giveth his beloved sleep and if the devil argues with that you prove to him that you know what you are saying let me tell you brothers and sisters god has never had cause to rise up from his throne but there was still war in heaven for satan to leave heaven there had to be war to live what do you think will make satan just live freely in your life if there was war to get satan out of heaven he said there was war in heaven is that not true it was on account of that war satan was cast down i write to you my son timothy that ye wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been given unto you he didn't say carry the warfare is not this madness we do around the warfare is having an understanding of what your role is in making the word of god become a reality and brothers and sisters i bring you good news we have fasted for today we have prayed for today the all the departments and workers have prayed we have prayed and i assure you the devil will let you go tonight if you are interested if you are if you are not interested there are other miracle service services that are coming but tonight if you are tired you can tell the devil is over there are families that have been tied down there are some of our fathers they are not doing their responsibilities as men and you think it's just like that nothing just happens nothing just happens are you hearing me nothing just happens satan knows that jesus has died satan knows that he's given the church the victory but he also knows that we are lacking in understanding
and we must keep contending. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight is my night of liberty. In the name of Jesus. Tonight is my night of healing. It's my night of deliverance. It's my night of breakthrough. It's my night of restoration. Let me talk about marriage a little. Because we are going to confront that thing this night. There are many people. If the power of God does not step into your life, you will never marry. I don't care what you rob. Foundation, the next one after it, whatever it is. Because the problem is not your physical appearance. There are powers that tie men down. The Bible says he told, he said, what seest thou? Zechariah 1 verse 18. He said four horns. These horns have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Israel, against Jerusalem, so that no man will lift up his head. He said, but I have sent carpenters. I have sent carpenters. We are going to pray. Let me preach to everyone here that marriage is the will of God. Are you hearing me? Marriage is what? Absolutely. The devil knows what marriage can do. If marriage did not affect Satan, he will not fight it. Are you getting my point? Sister, the devil knows why he's fighting to make sure your husband does not come. But this night, this night, the Bible says at a prophetic word, bones that never saw each other for a long time started relocating till they came. There is a husband for you. Don't let statistics deceive you. Whether it is 10 men, 10 women to one man, is none of your business. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says you shall not call what they call conspiracy, conspiracy. He said when men shall say there is a casting down, what is your testimony? There is a lifting up. Many ladies are afraid now to an extent that people are just becoming desperate. They say, do you know there are no husbands? Who told you? Who told you? Who told you there are no husbands? My God will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to address issues. It's a miracle service. It's not a healing service. Miracles are more than healing. There are many of us here, we are not sick. But our family needs divine intervention quick. Financially and otherwise. There are many of us, everybody in your family is a graduate, but nobody is working. Everywhere you go, they drive you. Some of us even went abroad. You went abroad, you came back, and you are looking as if you never went to school. That devil must bow this night. Hallelujah. And for those of us who have been told by the doctors that nothing can be done about your situation, I bring you good news. There is a way out. Soon answer, yes. One day I feed you, can soon I soon answer, yes. One day I feed you, can soon I soon answer, yes. One day I feed you, can soon I soon answer, yes. For some of us, it's academic bondage. People keep mocking you. They think you are lazy. You are reading all you can read. You are doing everything. But there are horns that have vowed that you will not arise. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are horns that, you are, that have vowed that as far as admission is concerned, you won't get it. Or as far as this is concerned, they mark scripts. When it's time to mark your own, they forget it. Come on now. Don't tell me that's a coincidence. When you know the realm of the spirit, you know things do not just happen. Hallelujah. 
a lecturer just looks at you and vows to punish you in that department what did you do i just hate you what kind of what kind of nonsense is that that's a spirit speaking through that person Hallelujah. And there are people here who have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. At least I know that I got two text messages by some people. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And he opened the womb of Rachel. God can open wombs. I don't care what they say is there. How many of you have seen a bulldozer trying to throw something down? Whatever stands it way, it clears it. Whether it's called fibroid, whether it clears it away. This is the God I serve. Hallelujah. Some of us have been given all kinds of reports. And they've said you may never be able to have a child. Even if they remove your womb, you will give birth. Hallelujah. Mary said, be it unto me according to your word. Her stomach started growing. Be it unto me. When Joseph saw her stomach growing, he said, I will divorce you. I have no business with what is happening. And the angel said, what are you saying? Keep this woman for that which is in her. How it entered the word of God. He says, through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. Shortly, we will rise up and pray for five minutes. And that prayer is aimed at steering anger in you. To say, Lord, I'm not going to go back the same. Hallelujah. You know, many of us hear words like this. But the impetus to make it our word. That's what we lack. So you can rejoice over other people. Hallelujah. You must get angry. And say, Lord... As you're visiting men this night, I'm holding on to you like the woman with the issue of blood. Let people call me unclean, no problem. That's why I'm here. Are you getting my point? You must get angry. Especially for those, there are so many people you could not get seats. You can't just be standing outside. And then at the end of it, you just go back and say, I didn't get seat. Say, Lord, as a reward for this standing, the devil must bow. hallelujah Jesus wants his glory to be revealed and let me tell you something all things are possible say it after me all things are possible the Bible says Jesus healed them all he didn't say he healed some he didn't say he healed the, the ones that could be resolved then the ones that have gotten so bad he could not do anything the Bible says he healed them all that means he delivered them all Hallelujah. And some of us here are standing in for our family members. You know that we care about family here. We are convinced in this place that if your family does not experience what you call salvation, your Christianity is not yet complete. He said, as for me and what? He didn't say as for me and myself. As for me and my house. It's not enough for you to receive breakthrough. When there are people in your house who have not experienced that, they must be opened to this reality of the revelation of the power of God. Isaiah 61. Arise, shine. Isaiah 61. Let's see what the Spirit of the Lord came to do. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord, the Master, the owner of the universe, has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to do what? Bind up the brokenhearted. He had sent me to proclaim what? Liberty. That means those who have been tied by ancestral causes 
and yokes and they have said nobody will cross this boundary you are the one who will cross it for the first time and tell your family members the door has been opened everybody can now freely pass without bowing down to a dagon without bowing down to a deity there are some of us as you are sitting down right now our parents are putting pressure on us come home or come to the village let them go and bath you with whatever let me tell you Africa has not forgotten where they are coming from. They are still practicing it. It's just that we are practicing part traditional religion and then on Sunday we are doing religious Christianity. Some people cannot just rise. It's called limitation. You know what limitation is? You don't remain there. You will move up. But it's like there is a mark that has been placed over your family nobody rises there you see a man rising doing well he can get a job one day he will come back those deities are proving to you we are alive but tonight somebody somebody will walk out and for the first time you will break those barriers and say people in my house just get children without getting married because of frustration when they are 55 years and no man is coming they say okay just get pregnant at least let's have children and you will say you are the one who will break that and you will usher in your children and everybody there are those who say they have vowed that your degree will remain a piece of paper you have gotten degree you have gotten masters but there is nothing around your life like that everywhere a man will vow a pastor and say bring me your cv when you are about to visit that man, someone will come in your dream and now molest you. You get up the next day to go and the man will say, I cannot remember telling you this. Ah, yeah. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army Rising up, men and women anointed to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There are some of us, you are the first person in your family to enter university or even to complete it. And the devil has vowed. He said it has never happened. And all hell is breaking loose. They say frustrate her. Frustrate him. Frustrate them. Who are these horns? Who are these horns? That fly above the lives of people. To jeopardize their prophetic destiny. Come on, pray. Pray. Tonight is a night of judgment. Tonight is a night of justice. Get angry. Tonight, I will break limits where my father did not enter. I will enter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Everywhere pray inside and outside. Begin to pray. I break limits. Satan, enough is enough. Hey! Come on, get angry inside and outside for your destiny. Let's 
Hallelujah. Look up. Please listen. 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 There are some of us, what is plaguing your family is the cause of hardship. Nobody ever finds anything easy in your family. You are born again, you pray in tongues, but until you have suffered to a point where even when God wants to bless you, you don't want to receive because you are used to suffering. Everybody must walk like an elephant for everything. Some of our parents are working three jobs, five jobs, just to be able to raise 10 or 20,000 naira. It's a cost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I beg you in the name of the Lord. Please listen to me. I beg you in the name of the Lord. I want you to get angry tonight. One of the things that we must all break. The Lord was ministering this to me. Is this thing called limitation. Many of us don't know what limitation is. You know what limitation is? A mark has been drawn. And they say nobody can cross this mark. There are many families that are suffering this. For years, my father was working. The people that he was part of interviewing them to get the job became his superiors because there was a barricade. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, I don't know how to help you this night. Because there are many people who just say, is it, is it real? Look at your life. You have been claiming, oh, I'm free. But you are seeing trends happening in your family. Come on now. There is something to break this night. There is something to break this night. There is certainly something to break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up. There are some of us, what must leave your family this night is the plague of death. Some after two, two years or three, three years or by September or a particular month, somebody must die or be paralyzed or be sick. Patterns of wickedness. When these limitations are broken, let me tell you, you will find yourself finally. You will see that doors will now be open. And do you know what? Listen, every time you force a door to open in the spirit, you bring others into that experience. Listen, hear this. Do you know there are many of us here? Our parents have gone for meetings to try to break some of these things. It's just that where they went, they did not sustain the kind of anointing and spiritual intelligence it takes to break. So our parents tried and it didn't work. And God said, you, you are the one that has been chosen. Go, go for the family. Go for the family. Many of our family members have gone to all kinds of prophets. They have collected their money, plundered them, did everything. Nothing to show for it. We hear the chains falling. Tonight, the waters will be stirred. And I tell you, when the waters is stirred, these powers that have put a barricade and said no man will rise maritally financially academically if you have been carrying an inherited disease 
Don't say it's like that in our family. This night, you must begin to contend. I can't remain SS simply because everyone is like that. I can't remain AS because everybody is like that. I can't have eye problem because everybody has it. Get angry. Bring them, bring them, bring them in. Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord are in this place. It's time for miracles. It's time for that sickness to leave your body. All those outside, please lift your hands. Just those outside. Hallelujah. There are so many angels outside. Listen, there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside. Hallelujah. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. That fire, devils will begin to cry and jump out. Just those outside. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power. To heal, to deliver, to set free. Thank you for the confirmation of your word. Right now, in the name of Jesus, those outside. One, two, three. Shake just those outside the power of God is falling I command devils come out come out come out I command powers demon spirits I command them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost outside the angels of God are moving everywhere outside the power of God is shaking every demonic hole acts of witchcraft yokes curses those outside lift your hands again lift your hands I just want you to focus on the screen those of you outside in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again no power will hide right now one two three go 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 hey! come out come out of them devils yokes bondages by the fire Please help the ushers if they need help. Help the ushers if they need help. 
inside this place right now and shake foundations at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus as you shout that name Jesus no instruments at the count of three no instruments just shout that name Jesus and the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here are you ready now? One, two, three. Shake it, take it, take it. Rekotopos, embrebekete, lekoto soparia. The fire of God is coming down right now, mightily. Shake it, mekoto sota, take a prayer staba. Some pray, take it, take it, bring them out. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Hallelujah. This role, lift your hands. The angel of the Lord is standing in this role. I pray right now, every activity of witchcraft, according to what the Lord is showing me, those in this row right now in the name of Jesus I want you to shout Jesus right now one to go let it be shaken oh God now 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 Break it, 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 break it,
There are still many people outside. Please, outside, lift your hands. No devil will escape tonight. Outside. At the top of your voice, after the count of three, many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you. My God, let no spirit, let no spirit remain right now. One, two, three. All those that have come out Those in front here As a point of contact To those who are there by the blood, I bring a separation. I bring a separation. By the blood, now, 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 now. I bring a separation. By the blood, the mystery of 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 the blood, Bring the lady. Bring her here. Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the lady. Bring her. But the light shines in the darkness. Let her go now. You know my voice. She out. 
Now, leave her. Out. Never return again. Now, all the devils here, at the count of three, your exit comes. You hear my voice. I speak to you from the realm of the spirit. One, two. So go, 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 go. Out, 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 out. You must go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, go, go. Be free. I set you free. Okay, let her go now. Leave this little girl. Now, devil of darkness. Out. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out. 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 Marital delay. Give me your hands. Oh, With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Go. Out of her. Now. Pray Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. This serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. Listen, some of you are not out here. But there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay. It will die now. At once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Alright then. You will leave her 
never ever to return to her again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I challenge you. Zedekete palakata prakoto soba. Nembrendi zilekata. Reto shikata garado sisa. Something will leave you right now. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Shila. Go. Go. Never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. They will never say you have a fibroid. I cause that spirit. It's a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes. I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go. Together with the delay. Zigo Palada Garanda Shia Kataga do Siza Lagataga Branda Sila Barando Jigli. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. Sakataya Mandeka Sete Laman Paria. You can't move forward because something is tying you down right now. In the name that is above every other name, every delay in this place, at the count of three, I command the devils be gone right now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. I cause delay. I cause delay. I cause delay. Every kind of delay. Every kind of delay. Where is the woman? I, where is the woman I spoke about? One mama that was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? to see back at I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is... This is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Edo. Edo State. Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now hold on. Why are you? I want to. It's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me, and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, 
sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when? find myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Madam, look at me. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of it. Eh? Is you are the one that brought her. Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain at, used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. I was already healed. Yeah. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They have been calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. I always complain. Why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything we touch with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some me church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image. He was just saying different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm the king. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. Yes, what do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? Into an university. Have you written jam? No, no. You are writing next week. Yes. Hold my hands. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar, bigger than any senate, you will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam whether for you or for your loved ones i tell you the truth and i lie not see listen prophecy every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names. Receive, your admission. receive your admission receive your admission receive your admission receive your admission I go focus by the power of the Holy Ghost receive your admission Where, listen whether you know what you are writing or not May my God hold your hands. That hand, that hand, 
confess it. If I be a servant of God, may my God hold your heart. Listen, many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me. No. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out! You are a wicked spirit. By the power of the blood. Go, now! Don't waste our time here. Now! Thank you, Jesus. Be thou and throne. On high and throne, on high and throne. Help me worship us. Be thou and throne. Marriage. We are going to visit the issue of marriage right now. Please, I want you to listen. I'm just flowing as the Holy Ghost is giving me grace. Sister, look at me. Just look at my eyes. You must release her right now. It's time for you to go. Out you go. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I set you free. Let it leave you now. Let it leave you now. Please, whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name that is above every other name.
in the name that is above all names i pray right now by the power of the holy ghost please get said something mighty will happen in this place now every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of elohim right now as you shout jesus they will depart from you now one two go every marital delay go 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 let marriage spirit us back out in the name of jesus i prophesy to you may your life partner come into your life i prophesy I call for your life partner supernatural marriage hallelujah hallelujah a lady has been healed of chest condition outside check yourself and run out here check it looks like ulcer you just feel something leave you please check and run quickly quickly Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just ministered to me. Please check, check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus. God has healed a lady. A lady. Is that the lady? another one come come you've been healed when god speaks to one he speaks to many look at just one prophetic word give them the mic is it working what happened to you just tell us quickly okay, i just felt a pain leave my chest. you felt something leave you yeah. do what you couldn't do before I felt pain in my chest. completely hold my hands never returns in the name of jesus christ let her go forever come what happened to you now I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How been, long? For I've how been long? I've drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. Drugs is even, in, is even in my bag right now. The drugs is, you go and bring yes. it. Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on. Are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names, hold the drugs. Just hold it. Hold it. Look at me. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. Ulcers. Ulcers are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past been, two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Okay. Anytime I try to breathe, it will hold. It will when hold you try me. to breathe, it will hold you. It will hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I'll be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over. But I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't, I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check. And when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me. And now I'm healed. Breathe. Do breathe in. Deep. Any pain? No, any sir. pain? No, sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, all right? I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six months. Six months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, pain. breathe in now. Just... Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again in the name of Jesus Christ. Since 2006. Yes, and recently. Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure, confirmed. Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming.
coming back again and the pain was so severe at times it doesn't allow me to sleep at night but as we we're outside and we shouted jesus i felt you felt something yes, that so wicked said, thing that has sat there he must pack his load and leave this night I felt, hold my hand i use this as a point of contact to every area of your body that whatever has not been planted by my god lives your life forever if you have problem in your eyes god is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now lay your hands there please i want to pray lay your hands please believe thank you jesus when i pray for you check yourself and if you see a miracle run out here even if you see that it has started please don't tell lies we are not playing gimmicks here some of you think it's an eye problem but it's a demonic thing i'm about to command it to leave you thank you jesus even itching in the eyes will leave thank you jesus now i command eyes be healed be healed now be healed be healed every blind eye open every blind eye open partial blindness be gone in the name of jesus long-sightedness short-sightedness glaucoma every eye condition be healed now please be checking yourselves check yourselves god is doing miracles now check yourself if you have any growth in your body please check yourself as you see god touching you come out you i tell you god is healing people if there is any growth in any part of your body what's wrong with him eye problem bring him god is healing people look at look at a miracle look at a big miracle look at look at this look at this look at what is happening to these people look at eyes are opening come on give jesus praise eyes are opening receive your miracle receive your miracle every kind of eye condition hallelujah we'll take the testimony check yourself don't let the devil stop you what's his what's the problem with him look at this he can't. Eh? praise the lord no 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 no. there's no time for that what is wrong with him this i can see completely yes who brought him here we came together with him. mama okay i'm going to pray for him as i pray for him keep testing him when he can see you just try him out the lord will heal him lay your hands on your no no let, let him lay his hands on your eyes. lay your hands by yourself on your eyes i command new eyes by the power of the christ how long has this been does she speak english one year two months yeah. What happened to him? Uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he couldn't cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Jesus healed his eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus bow to the name of Jesus I command his eyes to open right now open right now please check him test him See, test him test him just test him if you've seen anything can you say don't be afraid this is a factory just test him sister stand up what is it eh? you saw light what are you seeing? oh my god look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged huh can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light. I saw and it went. You saw off. light. Yeah, when you just finished praying, so I just opened my eye. Then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up. All right, get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again. Yes, a sharp light. You've been using glasses. I've been using glasses over two and a Who half knows years her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay you all know. who is your roommate roommate where are you come now roommate when we say roommate where are you you come out 
you know her so that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in you my eyes. A sharp and light. I, I, I fell down. And then you fell under yes. the anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes. Each until year. you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine. For the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Who brought this boy? Okay. Father. How are you? Father. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone? Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay. What happened to you? As Please make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as, as I fell down and I'm coming. Now I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! Ah. Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. <laughs> you mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? He's, he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Mm. What was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to itch you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? To the shame of the devil. <laughs> Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. Praise God. I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor. Because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over when there. When you were standing there. Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I... And it's gone. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this. I don't know, every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me. What and do you mean today, go blank? Epileptic yeah, or something? Today I was in class and my, I was, we were reading. My friend was not asking me what's wrong with me. I'm reading the word. I'm mixing the word. I'm like, it started since this year. And she's like, okay, I need glasses. I'm like, I don't need glasses. Oh, when you are reading, yes. the, you will be skipping yes, the I'll words. Yes, I'll the word. I'll go blank. And I don't know why. What happened to you now? When we were praying, I laid my hands on my, my, hands on my eye. And then a light just, just hit me. And my hands touched Light me. again. You see and the light? my eyes got very hot. And then Your I eyes got open. hot. Yes. And you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah 51, just verse 1 and 2. Let's and see. Came to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hanged, 
and to the whole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed him, and blessed him, and, and increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too. Yeah. Come. Okay. It started 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's, I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness so in your eyes. So when I went to Chica, they told me it's pterygium. That is it's mostly pterygium. That is, I'm not supposed to survive it. That is some, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went, I went and got them. Right so what but while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely. Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah. May be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own? My sister brought Oh, me. your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? My eyes took Your me. eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eyes. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh-huh. I saw that the thing have gone. Completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, my eyes sometimes used to pain me. So, uh, me and my mother, we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But since that day, my mother and I never went. So, sometimes I'll, my eyes would be itching me. I was okay. like... Start feeling sleepy, but now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship, I want you to line up all the sick people, especially if you came here from outside Zaria. Please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to he to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. Line them up very quickly. Please help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. My Don't be distracted. God is awesome. He can move that mountain of sickness will be moved right now. Whatever it is. Please keep coming quickly. Come and line, line yourself. As you come, just be praying and say, Lord, this is it. I am parting My with this sickness. Hide me from the rain. Say, my God, heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever He will reign. My God is. I pray for you 
Just begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. Let's pace them very quickly. Hallelujah. As I pray for you, please, I want you to believe. I already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands. And as I pray for you, you'll be healed. You'll be delivered. No matter what it is, please, don't go back the same. You don't have to go back the same. You do not have to go back the same. No matter what the issue is, I want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ.
What's wrong with him? He has what? What's the wait? Hold on. What's the issue? Yes, with my bike. And the leg broke. Wait! You don't try to lift him. This guy had an accident. Look at me. Since when? I think a week ago now. You, you can't walk. The the nurse bandaged my leg. So then what happened? I started. I couldn't walk very well again, so I removed the bandage. Why did you remove the bandage? Because pulse was going out. Pulse was going out of the leg. Yes. Where is it? Ah, oh, goodness! Look at this. Look at me, brother. Yes, sir. Look at me. He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. It's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody is seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now, who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fix this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't, don't, just do what you couldn't do. See, he's surprised. He's shocked looking at his leg. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what, hold on. See, the guy, what is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying up. You are feeling it now. Yes. Everybody clear the way for him. Rush, go and come back. Walk, go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with him. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise for that which you are doing in our midst. This leg dries up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the fire.
Of them, the right. you've never been able to use it mm, except with age, except with an age. Try to move it, I can move it. just where is which one? Which of them? Try to move it, yeah? just do what I'm telling you to do. Try to stamp it. Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come.
Dos pies. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy, be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly. Totally free. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. Quickly, you are the quickly. joy of the That's whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Please usher us quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, right? You are quickly. the joy of the whole world.
Is anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on, fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah. Please, everybody, rise if you can. Please, this is a very prophetic moment. Please, we'll start praying. The rest can come and join us. The other one. Pastor, please. Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every Miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues while the worship team leads us in worship just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues is that okay please go ahead shekata ba 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 you do wonders in me shekata ba 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 kata ba Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, O God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O God, hands, o God. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O God. See you do wonders. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray that every request here be turned into testimonies. Let there be deliverances, O God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
Sara Braki Jali Mazata La Broki Jilibana Zataya Rika Lu Jali Krasatata Pata Shitaba A God of all flesh Jara Pakata Shilia Lizarika Patasha with the glare Lazata Patasha the one that parted the Red Sea Raka Patashi Talaba Ribi Zuri Brani Nekocho Shitalaba Do the impossible right now Do the impossible Do the impossible Do the impossible you break upon the rings and you part it into two. Do the impossible right now. Behold the request of your people. Behold their heart desires. Let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now. Intervene now. Intervene now. In the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, and as, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare. That with this request, so oh God, let, the, let there be possibility right now. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. Miracles. Open doors. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless the name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, stand. Everywhere, please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on her chest. Out now. release her and go now hallelujah and he said to me prophesy and I prophesied as I was commanded not as I wanted I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound a rattling sound and bones began to be joined to bones and he said unto me son of man prophesy to the four winds and I prophesied O wind breathe upon the slain and the wind came and breathed upon the slain and there stood an exceeding great army I want to prophesy over your life I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you, Father, because you always hear me when I call. Lord, as I prophesy over your people, let it not be a ritual, I pray. Nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen. Therefore, I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers, may they back this word and bring it to pass. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. 
Hallelujah. And Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said, Blessed be Abraham, son of the Most High, possessor of the heavens and the earth. And the prophet said in Samaria, By this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, the Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. By a prophet, he brought them out of Egypt, and by a prophet, they were preserved. He says, He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Do the impossible, do the impossible. I'm not singing, just concentrate. My God, would you step in and do the impossible? Do the impossible. Change the unchangeable. Change the unchangeable. My God, step in to the impossible. To the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. The name that causes demons to tremble. The name that causes breakthrough and deliverance. I command right now. Let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost. Restoration now. Restoration now. Restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive restoration. Everything you have lost, for whatever reason it was lost, I command restoration of opportunities in the name of Jesus restoration of destiny help us restoration of the years that the canker worm has eaten now hallelujah every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names be cancelled now 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 In the book of Job, he says, In six things will he deliver you, yea, in seven things. And one of them is the scourging tongues of men. When men sit down and make enchantments in the name of the God that I serve, every cause, every pronouncement over your life. Because now, because now, because now, because now. Then the brother shall a cabaro satana man. For he has broken the gates of brass and he has cut
the ions in sunder. My God, I pray. Every door that has been closed over your people. In the name that is above all names. If God be in this place. I command those two leaf gates. Be open now. Be open now. I prophesy be open now. By the power of prophecy. Be open now. Everyone called jobless in this place. In the name that is above every other name. Satele kabande kretisa kaj ashete tebala kata brege de balada baga de baga. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? And they brought Mephibosheth, a man who was not qualified, but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David. I pray by the favor of God, wherever you need favor for jobs. I prophesy receive it now receive it now from the north to the south to the east to the west I command jobs every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward may his prophecy come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ I want to break that power that limits men every limitation every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come I speak from the heavens in the name of Jesus limitations be lifted now be lifted now be lifted now I command break records break records set new records do what has not been done I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted the Bible says withhold not good from who him who is due when it is within your power to do so it is within their power to bring the promotion therefore i pray in the name that is above all names we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the lord come alive now Dead relationships come alive now. I pray for your academics. For he has given me the tongue of the learned that I may know how to speak the word in due season to him that is weary he said my tongue is the pen of the right the ready writer my heart has indicted a good matter yea i speak of excellent things daniel was made 10 times better he said i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say that when you stand before them you shall not think of what to say for in that very hour it will be the spirit of your father speaking i pray everyone called doll i change that testimony now everyone on probation we take you out of it now we take you out of it now everyone on probation we take you out of it now every missing script every injustice done to everyone i command the angel of the lord to go to every department every faculty let justice be done in the name of jesus
and everyone that has vowed that you will not graduate in the name that is above all names we graduate you right here we graduate you right here in the name of jesus christ we graduate you right here that cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted i speak to every job here receive increase i speak to every business here grow i command you to grow i speak to every ministry expand and break levels in the name of jesus christ let the favor of god that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers i prophesy may that mantle of favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus christ may that favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus may that favor hit you where you are may that favor change you may it cause men to bless you hallelujah and i pray may the presence of god go with you everywhere you go everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of god pornography masturbation whatever it is it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ every dead spiritual life every dead prayer life every dead word study life in the name that is above all names come alive now receive the fire for prayer take it take it take it take it take it take it the fire for prayer take it the spirit of prayer and supplication take it let it come upon you like a tornado in the name of jesus grace to pray grace to study grace to understand hallelujah every hidden gift every hidden talent every ability that can bless you that has refused to arise i pray the bible says the gift of a man makes room i pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried i prophesy let it come alive and bless you now let it come alive and bless you now Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Many are connecting from all over the world I pray oh God that you will reveal yourself tonight as the God that doeth wonders give us testimonies strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ Amen God bless you Please be seated. Just help those under the anointing. We really want to celebrate the media department. Praise the Lord.
The number one challenge of many people as far as our messages are concerned is having a system that will be able to grant them the ease of access. I, I acknowledge the fact that it's been very difficult, especially for people outside of this nation, having to use for shared for many years. And um, what's the other one? The Google Drive and all of that. We again want to thank all of the people who have been part of this family, um, allowing our messages to be available across various um, blog pages, um, download uh, sites and so on and so forth and getting it across to people. And I believe that this will really bring a lot of ease. Um, Koinoniadownloads.org is the um, site for it and we're really, really very happy. Just a few things, um, I apologize. I would have called the head of department to just say a word or two, but we don't have that time now. Um, I understand that the page has um, links to know a bit about the ministry and then the downloads and then from there you can access Koinonia Radio uh, and then you can also give. I think it's secured enough for you to be able to give the information um, of the ministry's account and then if you want to do any payment online um, it's secured. We have tried to make sure that it's secured and then you can also register your testimony there there's a column for your testimony and then our official lines for contact is also there. Um, I'm also told that the downloads contain all our messages to date and will be updated every week. And it's been arranged according to date, according to category, according to alphabetical order, and then the miracle services. So everything has been done. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are not happy about this, leave this place this night because we are, we are people who rejoice. Hallelujah. Why are we dedicating this? The same reason why we dedicated the baby. Dedication is not for, dedication is for anything that came by God. Anything. We are handing it over to God like we handed over everything and said, Lord, it's yours. Give it wings. Let it bless people. And it's also a way to help us manage some of these very ungodly, these karmas that continue to go around parading as Joshua Selman, parading as, as um, you see, if you claim you are me, what fights me will also look for you. This is, this is what people don't know. There are, there are all kinds of revelations. When God calls a man, he knows what fights that man. And he puts a grace. It's like a vaccination. So when you claim you are me, I don't mean like in, this, in the spirit, in the physical to deceive people. You are announcing the realm of the spirit that whether they see me or see that person, any one of them. You see that? It's the same mystery in marriage. And so some of these foolish people don't know what they are doing to themselves. You bring attacks upon you, maybe your wife, your children, just because of falsehood. Let me say it again and again, please, especially for our international community. Do not, please, do not entertain anybody whatsoever, whether as Joshua Selman or anybody connected to this ministry, asking you to transfer money through any charity account there is only one account in the name of the ministry and in my name for any personal seat that has been made available ministerially speaking so any charity name or whatever it is for prayer and so on and so forth please and please i want you to know that you are dealing with a scammer praise the lord and we have asked the lord to help us fight them and i'm telling you god answers prayers here Praise the Lord. So Father, stretch your hands please and let's pray. We thank you. You have done this for your glory. You have done this to bring honor to the name of Jesus. You have done this to lift up your name. And Father, we sincerely, sincerely thank you. You are God. You are King. We love you. We honor you. We bless you. 
Lord, we thank you for this opportunity you have given us to make the messages um, structurally available to bless all and sundry. We declare that it will remain a blessing. Let this download portal remain a blessing in the name of Jesus. Let millions around the world access it and get the resources that will provide supernatural solutions for them. Let people be saved through this portal. Let people be healed through this portal. Let people be changed, transformed in the name of Jesus. And Father, we bless you and we honor you. Therefore, we dedicate this and we release it tonight. Let it bless everyone. Let it be our contribution to kingdom come. Let it be our contribution um, towards establishing the purposes of the kingdom as committed unto us. Therefore, Father, with all humility and gratitude, we dedicate this in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. So please make it known. Let the whole world know that um, this is available as we improve on it. We'll continue to let you know um, the improvements that are there. Are you ready for tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Pray one prayer. Lord, that which belongs to me must enter my hands tonight. Lift your voice and pray. The grace belonging to me, the dimension, the anointing, everything that belongs to me. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. And the people say, holy. people say holy 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 is the lord god almighty is the lord god almighty my life is of your glory my life is full of your glory and the people say holy 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 and the people say holy Lord, it's the Lord God Almighty. It's the Lord God Almighty. My life is full of your glory. My life is full of your glory. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 5. Thank you, Jesus. Acts chapter 5. Let your heart be open tonight. Acts chapter 5 from verse 12. We'll read from verse 12 to 16. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. And the rest, does no man join himself to them, but the people magnified them. 14. And believers were the more added unto the Lord by reason of the mighty things that happened. Multitudes, both of men and women. 15. In so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets 
and laid them on beds and couches that at least the shadow of Peter passing might overshadow some of them. The last verse 16. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed everyone. Praise the Lord. It is God's desire that continually a territory and a people continually that they continue to experience the wonder working power that is back of the name of Jesus the name of Jesus is powerful the Bible says God has given him a name please listen and he said that name has been exalted above every other name and the Bible demands not as an option that that name sustains the ability to cause every knee to bow and every tongue to confess acknowledging that Jesus has now become not only Christ alone but Lord the Bible says he has been made both Lord and Christ he became Christ when the Holy Spirit came upon him he became Lord at his coronation when he sat at the right hand of the Father so he occupies those offices as the Christ of God and Lord the owner of the earth one of the ways that the kingdom was designed to advance please listen is through the the wonder walking manifestations of the power and the glory of God through men to men within a territory that means that when a territory continues to experience the multifaceted dimensions of the Christ in miracles signs wonders healings strange manifestations of his power the Bible says that everywhere this kind happens an entire territory will always come towards where the hand of God is finding expression and that many multitudes both of men and women will come to jesus i came in and i met a gentleman sharing his testimony i was so blessed when he said in the dream remember that the demand and now he's waiting for the altar call that one is the power of god are we together ministry is easy when there is results you see let me tell you this. anything is hard when there are no results so we are a people of results consistent results anything will be difficult when there are no results tonight several people have come several others connecting from around the world why number one because we all together as a family love Jesus. But number two, because we have come believing. Believing, number one, according to Hebrews 11 verse 6, that he is, he exists. And then two, that he has the ability to reward. God is called a rewarder. He can reward them that diligently seek him. There are families represented here, trusting God for all kinds of things, holding in their hands, death sentences situations that only the power of God can solve what then is ministry if it cannot culminate to the lifting of men what then is ministry if it cannot draw men to Jesus what then is ministry if it does not provide a platform for people to experience a dimension of God that is higher than science a dimension of God that is higher than medicine a dimension of God that is higher than economics see listen let me tell you this when you come before God it is important that you respectfully acknowledge that men have understanding but when you come before the God of the universe please find a way of indoctrinating yourself that you are operating um, you are dealing with a God that operates in a realm and a dimension that is higher than the scope of men 
He will use men. But he does not walk by men. He walks through men. So it is not unusual that you are here right now. And scientifically speaking, there is you put two and two together and it does not make sense how you will come out. When I was meditating on what I'll be sharing, just a little chat before we pray, I, I had a vision. And in that vision, I saw what would be a similitude of the experience of Jesus. Remember when he was going to Gadara and there was a storm. And I saw not the exact thing in the Bible, but I saw like a raging storm. And I knew that this would probably refer to a category of people seated here and outside and following online who are having all kinds of storms around their lives. It may be to go back to that scripture and just study it very carefully. <clears throat> because if Jesus calmed the storm, then you should study what he did. Are we together? Can we look at it for just two minutes before we pray? Luke chapter 8. Let's look at Luke's account. I love the scriptures. Luke chapter 8, verse 22. Now it came to pass on a certain day, listen, that he went into a ship with his disciples and he said unto them, let us go over to the other side of the lake and they launched forth. Uh-huh. Let's continue. But as they sailed, remember it was vision that brought this trouble if they were not moving forward there would be no need for a storm sometimes a storm does not mean you are wrong it could mean you are right they were on their way to the other side sometimes not having a storm does not mean you are all right there are times that it means you are not doing anything you are not moving they were on their way to the other side. And then the Bible says that a storm arose. But as they sailed, he, Jesus now, fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water and they were in jeopardy. 24. And they came to him and awoke him saying, Master, Master. Another version says, Careless not that we perish. And he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. And they ceased and there was calm. Leave it there. Leave that scripture there. <laughs> Look up. A storm is made of two things. Number one, wind. Number two, water. Every storm is made of wind and water. The Bible says to calm the storm, Jesus dealt with two things. He dealt with the wind and he dealt with the water that a storm does not just happen until these elements are present the wind and the water the wind in scripture always talks about the spiritual impute the realm of the spirit all through consistent from genesis 1 breathing upon them the breath of god ezekiel 37 are we together right everywhere the bible talks about wind it has to do with the spiritual dimension of anything and then number two the bible talks of water water in scripture especially with this kind of reference refers to men multitudes the voice of god is mighty upon the waters so the bible says you have no business having a storm until there is wind and water there has to be a spiritual dimension for every storm to be called a storm. And then there must be human factors that can work in partnership with the realm of the spirit to make a storm real. So Jesus is on his way going. We see that there are spirits. We know that this is true because as soon as he gets to Gadara, we see a man and we see spirits. So this condition was fulfilled. Are we together now? That a storm cannot be a storm until there is wind and water. Jesus gets up and with this intelligence, he knows what to rebuke. The Bible says, look at, the Bible says he rebuked the wind, one side, and then the raging of the water. 
Was it not the man in Gadara who was raging with anger? Are we together now? The Bible says they would bind that man and put him in grave, and, I mean, at rocks, and he would break the chains. He came to Jesus and said, what is all this? You have come to destroy us, do not torment us. And Jesus rebukes the spirit. Jesus corrects that man. And when you read down here, the Bible says he came and met the man in his right mind, in his right senses. So that means that every time humans go through storms, it's a combination of two things. One, the physical body, the situation that looks obvious. But that in the realm of the spirit, there is a wind that gives that water life. That the water does not move on its own. It is sponsored by an agency. That the family problem is more than just two people. Are we together now? That the financial storm is not just about money, Naira and Kobo. Every storm is made of wind and water. Jesus did not only rebuke the wind. The Bible says he rebuked the raging of the water. And the Bible said they, like two living things, ceased. And there was calm. Jesus is teaching us how to calm storms. That every time there is a storm, number one, know that it only comes because you are moving forward. Let us go to the other side. You know, we have this mindset that every time storms come, sometimes they mean you are wrong. It may mean you are right. Jesus never said, let us go back. He did something about that situation. There are times that going back is not an option. You have the power to calm the storm. And that the first thing he did, just to encourage someone, that the first thing Jesus did was to rebuke the wind in that order. Because according to James 2 and verse 26, a spirit without a body is dead. Behind every body, there is a spirit component to it. Behind every situation as a body, there is a spirit component to it. So he rebukes the spirit. This is the same thing Jesus did also. When you read the 12th chapter of Luke, the Bible lets us know that one time um, he met a woman who had been stooped for 18 years, he said. And he said, woman, thou art loosed from your infirmity. And then when the woman was loosed, he now laid hands on her and straightened her. And said, ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, ought not this woman, she shouldn't be in this condition as a daughter of Abraham. There are storms that continue to rage. When God showed me that vision, I knew exactly what he was saying. There are many people who will focus on what is obvious. The financial issue, the marital issue, the career issue. You are just looking at the water, the raging of the water, but that the water in itself has a wind behind it. There is a spirit that is sponsoring that family catastrophe. There is a spirit. Listen very carefully. This is our generation that continues to ignore the reality of the spirit realm. It's amazing how we try to ignore we find a way of convincing ourselves that there are no spirit influences in the world of men and if any is just mind no there are real spirits they are alive they influence people's finances they influence marriages they influence ministries they influence results Every time Jesus was going to handle issues, he dealt with the spiritual dimension first. And then he corrected the physical dimension. Are we together? That means adjusting things from the physical is a total waste of time. There are people who the solution to their problem is not counseling. The guy is not a thief as a habit. He's a thief as an influence. That's the reason why no matter where you hide what you hide, the spirit works like a prophetic spirit with word of knowledge. He will know where it was kept. That's not a habit. There are people like Jonah who are carrying all kinds of presents that continue to program difficulties in their lives. Even something that should be easy, when it gets to your turn, it becomes horribly difficult. It's a spirit. 
when there is a raging storm that the way to deal with it is to rebuke the wind then rebuke the water then both of them will be calm you rebuke your child and you leave the wind you are in trouble imagine that jesus met the guy at gadara and said that's all right no problem just dress well and uh, behave yourself next time when you see me no legion legion of devils in one man and jesus said go out of this man now and they left and then the man imagine the man taking his bath a sound and a sane man coming back and you look at him and say ah, yesterday you were you were not like this and the man will say yes because it was me plus other entities see i have learned by experience and by scripture the the power of victory when realities in the realm of the spirit are settled is a total waste of time i am telling you to approach things purely from a scientific point or from a sociological point at best it can just provide temporary succor but if it's the results you are looking for all realities must first be settled in the realm of the spirit the bible says in hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 starting says now faith is the substance of things hoped for it calls faith the evidence of things not seen and then he says for by it the elders obtained a good report verse 3 says through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god the second part is my interest he says so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear that means the physical realm does not give birth to the physical realm the physical realm is a child that comes from another dimension every good thing has an origin from the realm of the spirit every evil thing also has an origin from the realm of the spirit are we together When a woman gives birth to a child, sorry to use this analogy, the child comes out and you notice there is an umbilical cord that connects into the woman. That umbilical cord is a testimony that that child started from within. Is that true? This is the same thing. Listen carefully. Every situation you see is like a baby. When you trace carefully, you will trace the umbilical cord and it will disappear. You will have to be spiritual to know where it extends to. And some spiritual umbilical cords are long because they come from regions that are very far. Hallelujah. But what does the doctor do to have the child completely free? He cuts it off, period. For as long as that umbilical cord is there, that connection remains. And then he cuts it off. This is exactly how it is stop approaching life just from the physical standpoint i am telling you this is a waste of time it's a waste of time i have read my bible and i have learned every flourishing ministry does not start just by an anointed man and cheers and members and keyboardists and intelligent speaking no sir it starts from the realm of the spirit there must be a testimony in the realm of the spirit that reflects in the physical the book of Job, how did it start? The Bible says, once upon a time, the writer of Job gave us the duality of realms. We were able to see things from both realms. And the Bible says the whole story did not start just on earth. That the discussion started in the realm of the spirit, in the heavenlies. And a man came and was proposing all kinds of things. Satan, going to and fro. And God said, have you considered my servant Job? And Satan testified and said, well, I came to him and I found him fortified. And he said, is it for nothing that you cover this man? While that is happening in the realm of the spirit, Job gets up in the morning and he does not know that he's one week left for his tragedy to start. He's on earth. Hmm. Imagine the night before all his children will die and all his cattle. He was still the greatest man in the east. But overnight, 
When the realm of the spirit finishes something, it will take only God to correct it. Whatever happens in the physical realm is just acting. Believe me. The same way from the foundations of the earth, the lamb was already slain. And so it will be impossible for it not to happen in the physical realm. Regardless of what Satan did, all the manipulations. Are we together? The Bible says that God has blessed us already with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. It's already done. That means the, the reality that these things have been established in the realm of the spirit should give us confidence. That for as long as we partner with God, inevitably, it must find expression in the physical realm. This I believe. Build the ministry from the realm of the spirit and watch what happens in the physical realm. Build the business from the realm of the spirit and what, what happens in the physical realm. Build the children from the realm of the spirit. The dedication I did for our little one here, that's what they did for many people. They dedicated them to idols and immediately the next week they went to America and never came to Nigeria again. Yet their lives continue to parallel somebody in the village, although they're in America. Why? Because there was an authorization that the realm of the spirit will, should feel free to continue to create scenarios that draw people back. We are thriving and excelling because what you see is only a reflection. It has been finished already. The miracle service has been finished already in the realm of the spirit. The rejoicing version of you is already a reality in the realm of the spirit. Are you seeing that now? And that's why for as long as your heart is open and your faith can connect, inevitably you will see the hand of God. He said, who has believed our report to him, that man, the arm of the Lord has been made manifest. why do we call for these kinds of services they are not just moments to while away time there are several people outside everywhere thousands of people all around this ground and many more connecting around the world god is not stupid to gather a people some of you left this journey from Maybe outside of this nation, within this nation, traveling, risking your life to come and sit down. Would God be joking with you to bring you here? Abba. I believe in Jesus. I believe in his power. I believe that God can turn things around. Listen to me, please. I want to shake off unbelief from you. I believe that God, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, that a whole family can come and just sit in and say, Lord, can you turn our lives? Ha! Do you know, as a man of God, I've been around this thing for a while, and maybe a little while, and I'm telling you, myself, even as a man who God has helped, sometimes I am in awe and shock at the way God moves that someone can just come and sit in the presence of god my brothers and sisters and the anointing of the holy spirit comes like a drug and that's it you step up and doors open just like that it's like a dream everything you are looking for is also looking for you please hear me believe what i tell you everything you are looking for is looking for you if it has not gotten to you something stopped it i desired once and again to come to you but satan hindered us everything you are looking for is looking for you the breakthrough the lifting the anointing the new levels the increase the expansion it is god's will his testament already tells us there's no need going to pray and say is it god's will no the will of god is revealed through his word i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth and then scripture says let god be true and that every man a liar 
if you believe this about God, then you will also know that the Bible says, while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. Why? Because the things that are seen are temporal. What does temporal mean? Subject to change. Fading. But the things that are unseen are eternal. That means everything that does not represent the counsel of God can change. Can change. It's a miracle that my life of lack can change. Are we together now? My life of living from drug to drug, from death sentence to death sentence can change. So the question tonight is not can God do it? No, no, no. The ministry of Jesus captured all of this. He preached, he taught, he healed the sick. Listen carefully. He casted out devils. He made for the provisions of people that there be supplies. So I know God is able to do it. Please don't come sitting here tonight wondering. I've gone to many churches, you may say. I've been prayed for by several people. Apostle, you don't know the amount of vigils. Let me tell you something. And I submit to you respectfully. Every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. Listen very carefully. Don't generalize troubles. Every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. The anointing is like money. If you have 1,000, you have money. But that money can only buy to the limit of 1,000. And if what you need to buy is 10,000, you are in trouble. You will need to add nine of what you already have. In addition to what you have. To make that a possibility. So then death walks in us. That life will walk in you. My assignment is to continue to grow in the anointing. And to continue to grow in the revelation of the truth why because it is in that growth that more people's testimony is resident that means the testimony that the level of grace i occupied three four five years could not produce if it cannot produce that result till now then i'm not growing the problem is never with those who are having the challenge. You see, I continue to say this. The problem is not with members. It's not with the sick people. No! The problem is the limitation of the grace that is upon the person who is dispensing the word. It is true. Why do you call one doctor consultant and then you call another um, a resident doctor? What is the difference? They are all doctors. Is that true? Are they all doctors? I believe in the power of God. I truly believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Number one, because the Bible allows it. Number two, because this is how men know that Jesus is Lord. Listen to me. The demonstration of the power of God in miracles, signs, and wonders. No matter who argues around it is the authorized signature sign El Shaddai this is how he walks when he moves upon the lives of people he leaves his signature there where the carcasses are they say that's where the eagles will gather please let me encourage you if you are a man of God here and you are here in this meeting please desire more than receiving a miracle desire a solid impartation of a real grace that is provable 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 no amount of poster would do the work of a real miracle no amount of handbill now i'm not being sarcastic will do the work of a real miracle a transformed life is a real miracle a healed body is a real miracle Hallelujah. We have come here tonight to celebrate the hand of God resting upon people, resting upon families. Some of you are here for the first time because through the messages and through testimonies you have heard that this is what God is doing. Now you are seated like somebody who is ready to watch a movie and you are wondering, okay, is my case too big? Will God be able to visit me? 
you know reminds me of how patients talk to doctors they believe that the doctor has never seen their phone say doctor you don't know the pain eh? when i'm telling the doctor i already know the situation don't just be patient say, don't allow me let me let me explain to you let me even try to turn and he's looking and the man says i was in medicine before you were born i've met this kind of thing before i know the solution and sometimes the solution is funny he can just give him a prescription and he said that's all i thought i'll be on admission i said no no it doesn't call for that kind of emergency just because you are threatened by the situation does not mean the situation is a threat no, no. apostle you don't know the kind of financial trouble that is on my head that brought me here no it's a threat to you but it's not a threat find a way of believing what i'm saying because it is true the sun of righteousness is here with healing in his wings yeah. the son of righteousness is here with lifting in his wings yeah. the son of righteousness is here with speed in his wings for someone's destiny the son of righteousness is here with fire in his wings the son of righteousness is here with healing in his wings listen when the lord called me i told him something i said lord i know how unfair it is to gather a people and not have the power to allow your might to be revealed in them you know most times there are people who just act as if once the people hear the revelation of the word is all right uh, if they are not changed that's okay no i believe in miracles i believe in the word becoming flesh god reaching down to people i believe in situations changing with proofs proofs your account proof your destiny proof everything with proof and we will continue to thrive and push through and see to it that by the grace of God Almighty that we grow to realms in the spirit where every challenge that comes is within the jurisdiction of the grace provided to provide answers. That's what God does. You come and sit down in this atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen, and you are wondering, can God step into my situation? I love Jesus with all my heart. I have read the scripture. I have seen what God can do. Can God give me a job? Can God open a door? Can God put this anointing upon my life? Can God lift the death sentence over my life? Can God bring to end this age-long captivity that has tied the family? The answer is yes. Let me repeat the answer is yes god is able before god gathers a people like this he will check first whether he has the power to do it it is based on that conclusion that he gathers a people he will call a solemn assembly and say come and experience god hallelujah praise the lord so tonight i like your faith to be fired up don't don't allow the devil to reduce you to the realm of the flesh where you are wondering how can god make a way in the wilderness there are many ways god can deliver you from the wilderness he can leave the wilderness there and carry you that's method one number two he can scatter every rock in the wilderness and make a road out of it three he can leave you there and carry the wilderness it doesn't matter how he does it the most important thing is you are separated from it look at the size of your challenge the heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool footstool hallelujah it is footstool 
Please help those here. The power of God. I just saw light just flashing here. Two people just here. The power of God is touching them. The Lord straight up is visiting them. And for one, I'm seeing God remove something that looks like a growth around the stomach. I command that growth to go now in the name of Jesus. There are two of them. There's two. I saw two lights. So just this way. And it's a ministry of the spirit, you see two lights there is there is one something is coming out of the stomach is what i'm seeing um i don't know what it is looking like but it's looking like a thread just coming out of the stomach lord we believe in you lord we believe in you there is a man of god here the power of god is coming on him you are in ministry you are a man of god I just saw it by the Spirit. Let me tell you why these things happen. Look up, please. Let me teach you something. Don't worry about the time. I just want to show you something in two minutes. I just fell to digress. You see, all you see is not all there is. When God calls a man, there is not only an anointing, there is an office and there is a throne that defends what he represents. There are certain operations of the spirit that are not only products of the anointing. No. There are certain operations that are legislations. It is not the anointing that makes it happen. There is an office. In the realm of the spirit recognized accredited by god allocated for that grace and that office please listen understand what i'm teaching you so that when words come like this i'm not trying to transfer the anointing to the person to make it happen no 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 there are times that that happens try to understand what i'm teaching you there are things that are, they are governmental legislations. You see, let me tell you, there is growth in the spirit. And people can grow to realms where certain privileges are given to them. What was the privilege of the man with the parable of the five, two, and one talent? He said, I set thee over kingdoms. What kingdoms? That was the reward he got. A ranking in the spirit that means I extend your dominion that these other kingdoms they also come under the influence of your speaking that means you can declare things when I started out in ministry I would not minister that way because it was not by this this grace for legislature it was just about the anointing being properly channeled but now that's not just the issue now no at that level you will not be able to minister to a crowd like this you see that so when i declare and i speak sometimes it is not just an anointed man speaking no there are speakings that come from the anointing but there are speakings that come by reason of the office that speaks the centurion said i am a man under authority authority there is a government there i am a captain i have an allocation in the army there are people who must hear me because i am under that grace that means there are things that can be called listen if i am walking if i am walking in a restaurant and i am the manager in that restaurant now whether i can cook or not i am the manager do you understand what i'm saying and that means there are certain privileges that can happen is that true it is within my power to tell you come and sit down in that restaurant please serve him you see that i cannot cook physically but I occupy a position that has a cook under me. I can make his grace work for you. This is what I'm saying. I'm not the one who prepared the food. 
but there is somebody who can cook but both the cook and all of this is within the restaurant was given to my care let me tell you what this means please listen and, and i'm careful to say this because many young people once they get these kinds of things they usually will not understand what the man of god is saying and they will go online and start writing things that are er erroneous let me tell you this there is an office you can occupy that the grace must not be on you to reach people that means if pastor femi has a grace for prayer and you need it i can grow to a point in the spirit whereby the power of submission i me a man i can take the grace on him for prayer because it is needed and it is part of the apostolic duty to see that this guy's prayer life is on i can partner with the holy spirit and take the grace for prayer that is on him i may not have it as a person but because he needs that grace god can use me to take that grace and place it on someone it's true We remain humble before God and we thank him for the things that he continues to provide but let me tell you my brothers and my sisters men are not just men this is a revelation that is very is very difficult to understand but it's powerful when understood so when God gathers us like this God will not bring you to a place that cannot bless you no God does not work like that he will first check your problem before directing you so if he allowed you to come it is because he has checked it's like a checklist and he said no no no. the grace for your problem is here go you can go the same way you apply for admission you first check whether the course you want do they offer it just because they don't offer your course does not mean they are not a university there are times that only one university is offering a particular course and you will travel and go down there why because you want to access it this is how these things are spiritually too sometimes doesn't mean that we're the only ones doing what we're doing that would be pride and that would be untrue but let me tell you something that as god continues to engrace us then he provides a platform and an opportunity for the anointing to step i know that not many of us are sick crippled and all of that so it's difficult because you may not see visible signs immediately but the anointing comes on you and then you can go as you go you, you know what is on you by what starts to change so you're a man of god you go back ah i came to zaria it was a powerful meeting and then god leads you to certain people and for the first time you are surprised you are talking to the person and you are hearing names that you don't know you are saying okay i used to just think these things are intuition so the speakings of god can be this clear i can know it this much tonight is not only a night of deliverance tonight is not only a night of healing tonight is not only a night to calm storms tonight is a night of receiving i really believe that impartations to receive to receive you have to add to the grace that is upon your life already grace and peace be multiplied if you stay where you are you will not grow in results grace and peace be multiplied you are a prayer warrior you are the you are a leader in a group you remain at that level everybody will go and leave you there and they will not listen to you again that's the truth because they have exhausted the level of grace it's not that they don't want to love you you have to grow so take away your mind from anything that can distract and focus on god place something upon my life lord you have come put something upon my life put something upon my destiny and if you came here as a family put something oh god upon our family son of righteousness is he with fire in his eyes the son of righteousness is he with healing in his wings hallelujah who is deborah overflow one 
just we are going to be very fast tonight deborah someone in overflow one deborah we are going to pray deborah she's at the back you are wearing something on your head you are tying something on your head outside overflow one son of righteousness is here healing in his wings son of righteousness is here I'm going to pray but the person I'm seeing is wearing traditionals it's like it has a little of maroon touch on it traditionals this is what I'm seeing I will pray for you the son of righteousness is here when you find such if there's if there's nobody like that no problem my dear, where are you coming from? Zaria, I want to pray for you. Look at me, your life will so change this night, it will surprise you. There is a God in heaven. I'm seeing you crying, and the Lord is wiping your tears completely, just by His Spirit. He's wiping. Where are you from? The mic is not working, find out why, please. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you, my dear. Deborah is your name. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I release you from captivity. I set you free by the Spirit of the living God. I'm seeing something that has tied you huh? from head to toe. But the Lord is saying to release you. And I declare to you by the Spirit of the living God that God now is releasing you completely by the Spirit of the living God. Releasing you right now. My dear, where are you coming from? Outside? Your name is Deborah. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus. Who is that? Her name is Deborah. Where was she? Outside? What's wrong with her? Huh? Huh? Why? How long, madam? Madam, you feel pain in your back? Severe pain? Yes, sir. Where? Here, like this. From my back to this hospital. We are going to pray for the sick. Huh? So when we pray for the sick, you will come out and I will pray for you. Okay? You came with her? You are her daughter? Who are you? Just a friend that came. You're a nice lady. Come. What, do you, what are you trusting God for? Huh? A life partner. I love you. You're a very honest and sincere lady. And I'm going to pray for you. Huh? Hold my hands. Father, honor your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Give this lady a very godly man by the spirit of the living God find somewhere for her let her sit down we are going to pray I want to pray we are going to do a very quick walk tonight the power of God is coming on someone around the worship team here I just saw just like light I don't know who that person is but I just saw light around the worship team we are going to pray please lift your voice in one minute and cry Lord visit me Please pray quickly. Lift your voice and pray. Make sure you pray. Something must come upon your life tonight.
Hallelujah. Where are you coming from? Come, this lady. You, yes. Where are you coming from? You are schooling here. From where? Your state. You are from Kaduna State. Where are your loved ones? Tell them the month of November is a month of breakthrough for your family. Huh? That's what God is telling me to tell you. November is a very strange month of breakthrough. Huh? Your dad. That's what I'm saying. Something would have happened to someone this November, but the Lord is saying November is a month of breakthrough for your family. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I prophesy to you, let it come to an end now. The spirit that kills people by November, it comes to an end now. I command by the spirit of the living God. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. It says, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is liberty. There is liberty. There is liberty. Let it end. Let it be over right now. Let it be over right now. Sabaratu shikala hasibada. Father, I pray tonight in the name that is above all names that your mighty power in the name of Jesus the Son of the living God that it be made manifest across this place. Let yokes be lifted. Let burdens be lifted. Let all kinds of yokes be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen please. I want to pray for you. Please pay attention. Focus on Jesus. It is not just a call to have people fall under the anointing. No. I want to pray and minister the power of God. That if there is anything at all within this circumference that is not of the Christ that as we pray the power of God comes upon you please we'll have would we'll make it very fast and the ushers will bring them out we are going to shout that name that is above all names it's not a ritual wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name father in the name of Jesus I pray that you will honor your word and honor your name at the count of three together as a family of faith we are going to shout that name already i'm telling you i see fire just like rain but it's the rain of fire coming on people to end all kinds of oppressions at the count of three one two three shout jesus that every power that is not of god go now in the mighty name of jesus christ in the name that is above all names I decree and declare the forces of ancestry yokes of darkness please bring them out quickly 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 We are praying again hear me the bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered you are going to shout that name again not just for yourself not just for your family that everything that is not by the christ it must give way right now i speak to principalities and powers and thrones and dominions and every name that is named are you ready to shout now at the count of three one two three shout jesus release them now release them now 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 release their destinies by the blood release them now the bible says even the captives of the mighty shall be delivered hallelujah was you praying 
You're going to shout two more times. This is the second to the last time. The Lord wants to end patterns. Something that happened to someone. Your mother is now happening to you. Your mother was raped. You are now being raped. Your father failed. You now failed. In the name of Jesus, I declare. Now, this one, I see fire coming on several people. Inside and outside. Lord, I pray. Anyone here who is a victim of patterns. Strengthened by spirit. At this shout, oh God, let there be deliverance. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be free now. Be free now. Repeatable patterns that tie people down. Outside, inside, be free now. everyone who is under the influence of any strange spirit whether here or any of the overflows i declare to those spirits the bible says now the lord is that spirit and that where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i speak by the anointing in the name of jesus that these spirits let them go and release the families all those in front here at the count of three, release them, release their families. One, two, three, go now, go, 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 go. The woman holding photo, there's a woman here holding a picture. There's a woman holding a picture. Come, madam. Let every other name fade away. Come, madam. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Madam, where are you coming from, ma? From Port Harcourt. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a stronghold of witchcraft across your family. But the Lord is saying, these are your children. Where are they? Your children, I'm seeing two of your children in the US. Is the mic working? It's not working. Is it working? Please help us. Let there be someone who is. Huh? I'm seeing two of your children in US. How many of them are in US? Okay, three of them in US. Who is in UK? Where is the one in UK? There's one in UK. Listen to me, madam. God is going to come upon your family and bring rest roundabout rest roundabout in the name of jesus madam i lay my hands on you and upon this request turn every captivity my god to become like the streams of negev the negev be free now in the mighty name of jesus christ over now the power of god will touch them in the u.s in the uk i bring liberty to this family right now in the name of jesus christ Um, my friend, this man, please just clear the way for me. The man with gray hair just near this one. Come, sir. Let every other name fade away. Where are you coming from, sir? Niger State. From Niger State. Are you a man of God? What do you do? You are a pastor. Where? I have a ministry. Point of joy ministry. You have a ministry. I have to pray for you. I'm seeing a serious embargo. First on your life and then on your ministry. I don't know you, sir. I've not seen anything around you. But I want to pray 
because I am seeing number one, God is taking away this embargo upon your life. But number two, I'm seeing that God is granting you the spirit of revelation, Amen. the revelatory grace, Amen. revelatory dimension of the anointing. Amen. And then I'm also seeing God raising financial support, help us, Amen. very strong pillars for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you, sir? Is it all right if right. I pray for you? Right. I hope you're not embarrassed that I pray for you. I hope you're not embarrassed that I pray for you. No, no, no. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this servant of God. Sir, in the name that is above all names, I speak to you because you believe. May the Lord shift you to a new dimension of ministry. Let the grace for revelation rest mighty upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare to you, God will raise strange financial helpers to attend to your needs. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is, I'm hearing... Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. We have to hurry up, but I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Of course, I can imagine that there will be so many people with that name, but we have to hurry up because I want to pray. Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. And the Lord wants to minister to that person now, please. Every foul spirit. There is a family here. You are from Zonkua. Zonkua should be Southern Kaduna. Is that? Zonkua. Where are you? Please verify. Let's, let's make sure that. You are a family. It's not just one person. I'm not just saying one person who came. There are many people who came who are from Zonkua. We're in Kaduna State. I'm saying a family. This is what God is revealing to me. Let me pray for you. You came out for Ezekiel. I want to pray for you. What do you do, my friend? You are, you are brothers? Ezekiel, I will pray for you. I, of course, I will pray generally, but it, it may not necessarily be for everybody. My friend, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, please, hold on. I hope, I hope, Yes, that's why they are coming out. Why, why are all of you out for Ezekiel? Okay, I'll pray for you. The Lord is asking me to do something except that the Lord said so. I wouldn't have done it. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm seeing at least eleven people when I pray for them. Please don't be embarrassed. The addiction of smoking um either drugs or this um uh all these things that they smoke there i'm seeing at least 11 people and the lord is saying he wants to deliver them now now in this place i'm going to pray for this gentleman but i'm going to ask those people listen there's nothing to be embarrassed about I, like i said i would not call you to embarrass you but god is showing me both men and women not only women addicted to smoking this codeine or, or cocaine or whatever it is drugs the lord wants me to pray for those people so i'll immediately i pray for this i will call you please leave your friend leave whatever you are doing and you come and stand and i'll pray for you my friend let me pray for you in the name of jesus i declare that god is lifting you in the name of jesus christ god is lifting you by the power of the holy spirit and that everything that does not represent the counsel of God, let it live your life right now. And for all of you who stood in for the name Ezekiel, I pray for you. My friend, look at me. God is visiting your family, eh? You. is visiting your family in a very strange way. This, it will not reach wicked next week before you start getting testimonies. This thing I'm telling you is less than one week. Write it down. I speak to you by the Spirit of God. May the Lord honor this word. And for all of you who are standing in for Ezekiel, in the name of Jesus, everything around your life that is not the planting of the Lord, be delivered right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Was was well from Zonkwasa. 
Are you a family? Yes, God, it's not family. This is our father, but he cannot speak English. No so problem. He's welcome. Please come. Let him come. No, don't don't let the children who cry. Their children. Is it the same family? Yes. Uh, don't worry. I'll pray for you. And this one's too? And your children? Madam, what do you do, ma? I'm a nurse. You are a nurse. I will pray for you, oh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, turn this woman's life around. Amen. And turn the life of her children around. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Um, who is, what? He speaks your language. You, okay, when I talk to you, don't worry, you don't have to give up. When I talk to you, you will, you will interpret to him. Eh? Tell him that I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. And that this thing has been responsible for the retrogression of everybody within this family. That people rise in this family just when they should sit down. They either die or go down. He might graduate from school before he died. That's what I'm saying. Yes. I'm seeing that this is yes. what happens. Yes. Just when people should it's settle my down. My brother, yes. Our first born, he graduated this? from school before he died. Is your father? Yes. Is he your brother? Yes, he's my brother. Okay. Oh, please, someone help us and attend to these children, please. These are your, don't worry, my dear. There's no need to shout. Please tell him that there is a name that is above every other name. And that I'm going to pray right now. And no matter how long it has stayed, this entire family must be set free. Can I pray? What do you do? This student. Where? Abu. You love Jesus. I love Jesus. You are going to be an evangelist. Thanks to him. In my message, he prophesied to him that he's going to be a man of God. I don't know yes. him. I don't know anything. I'm just, I'm just telling you that this man, I'm seen by the Spirit. This, this boy you are seeing is going to be a mighty man of God an evangelist hold my hands I release you into this grace may this anointing take you to dimensions untold in the name of Jesus Christ fresh grace for prayer fresh grace for the word I shift you by the spirit into these dimensions now I pray for this family and every other family that has this kind of thing that there are forces that sit on people's destinies just when people should sit down, they crash down. In the name that is above all names, I declare be free now. Be free now. Help this girl. Be free now. Every spirit. Look at the children. I cast this spirit now. Now, out of this family. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release this family from the spirit of death and the influences of the grave. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. And let me prophesy to any other family here that is under this kind of yoke. In the name of Jesus, come out of it now. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Please, they can go back to their seats. Now, I want to pray. Our time is gone. We must hurry up tonight. But... The Lord is showing me people who want to be delivered from this addiction to drugs and smoking. L listen, no, everybody here is a product of God's mercy. There's no such thing as anybody. There are not many times I do this, but I have to obey what God is. Are you here for that case? Huh? Okay. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus name so please I'm going to give one minute whether you are in overflow 3 overflow 2b 2c 4 wherever or in here you know that some people are not bad they are not bad people they just need to be free please run and come and stand here right now you are addicted to all of these drugs don't be looking at anybody to say so this one is none of your business Please celebrate everyone. It takes a lot of courage for them to come. 
Are you clapping for them? Everyone, please. There are still more people because I saw a number of people in my vision as God was speaking to me. You love the Lord, but this addiction. See, these addictions are spirits. It's not about somebody being good or bad. Look at them coming. It's not, look, let me tell you the truth. Addiction is something that is, there is a spirit behind it. Please keep coming. Be bold and come and stand. God will set you free from it. Son of righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Hey, 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 hey. The Son of righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Please hurry up. I'm about to pray for them now. So if you belong to that category, if your friend is stopping you, leave that friend and come and stand. Nobody's condemning you. It's an addiction. It's a spirit. When you see the kinds of people coming, some of them are better than you in terms of character. It's a spirit. We have to deal with this thing because it's killing people everywhere. Some of you just have dreams and right from the realm of dreams, you cannot resist it again. I want to pray a serious prayer for you. Jesus is here. Some of you were doing well. You were excelling even in life academically until that spirit just came. And it just brought you down. I want to pray for you. Some of you were introduced to it by friends. Friends. They brought you together. Gave you those things. Look at people coming. Let's celebrate them. Young and old. This is not an issue for young people. Young and old. All together. God is setting people free. Listen. Let me tell you. Sincerely. I love every one of you. And I know that many people would not have one tenth the courage to come and stand. This is a family. Nobody dares condemn you. We are products of his grace. The Lord wants to set you free once and for all. Hallelujah. Now listen, let me tell you this. Remember the teaching that I gave you. I told you that... Every storm is calmed by rebuking the wind and rebuking the water. It is not what you hold and smoke or what you swallow that is the issue. There is a spirit. No amount of guidance and counseling will solve the problem. You will need to be delivered. And I want to pray for you. Praise the Lord. There are two things I want you to do for me. One, when I pray for you, you have a responsibility to let some of the association, because I know how addictive these associations are, tell them that Apostle Joshua Selman prayed for you and trust God for grace to leave them alone. Come to the house of God and make good friends. Are we together? You are not free when your association is not free. Because some of you, you probably have made attempts before, but you will go back and you will meet those people and they will laugh at you and say, forget about that nonsense. So you have to trust God for grace. But let me pray for you. Please lift your hand if you can. Some of you are here. Some of you are standing for your children. Some of you are standing for your loved ones. I know that not all of you are standing for yourself. Father, you gave this as a revelation. There are many people under the addiction of strange spirits. And Lord, I stand right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And I declare that in the frontier from my left to my right, let the angel of deliverance move right now across this place and cut the, help them please, my God, and cut these chains. I'm praying for all of you in front now. The legal basis upon which this spirit operate by the blood of the eternal covenant, I break that legal hold now. I break that legal hold now. The spirit of addiction to drugs. Be free from it now. Be free from it now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I pray for every one of you. Hear me. I'm saying it again. I don't care how it came into your life. It leaves you now and forever. It leaves you now and forever. Any association that the devil uses to keep you here, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I set you free from them forever. I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that you are free. Say after me, all of you in front, say in the name of Jesus. Say it again, in the name of Jesus. I stand by the blood of Jesus and I declare that from tonight and forever I am free from any and all forms of addiction I declare that from tonight addiction to drugs addiction to anything that is not of the Christ it leaves my life now and every spirit behind it I command you to let me go now I declare my liberty I declare that I am free in Jesus name let it be so for you by the power of the Holy Spirit I'm speaking to you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost no one condemns you we stand as a family we stand by you and we agree as a family of faith you are free from this nonsense this night in the name of Jesus Christ please return back to your seat rejoicing let's celebrate them return back to your seat rejoicing let's celebrate them hallelujah now don't be embarrassed I'm going to pray from here but I'm seeing a spirit on a lady. It is only married men that look for you. Shalis kabarutas kabariata. Only married men. A young gentleman who can settle down with you will never be interested in you. But a man who is already married, that's the one who will look for you. In the name of Jesus, whether in this auditorium, overflow one, two, three. Whoever is standing under the influence of that spirit, I'm declaring right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost be free now shout aloud amen be free now please help that girl be free now I'm still praying I'm, I'm still sensing this anointing is still is like he's moving and searching for people I say it again that anointing that grace whatever it is that makes only married men to look for you in the name that is above all names be free now be free now the Lord is showing me a door in the spirit and I'm seeing that door closed before we pray for the sick the Lord is saying to open that door I believe that there are many people it represents the next level of several people's lives I stand right now my God I'm seeing rain just coming on people my God the King of glory I declare everybody who is standing in front of a closed door I speak to that door be open now be open now Bring this woman for me. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh. woman who came with this madam she came on her own because the kind of breakthrough I see God bringing for this woman will surprise you madam I don't know you but in a name that is above all names you came with her from where Here. in the name of Jesus madam I don't know you but I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead 
every closed door before you I command that door to be open now in the name of Jesus be open in the name of Jesus Christ be open in the name of Jesus as I pray for her in the name of Jesus Christ I command every spirit that is not of God to leave this lady look at her tearing her clothes you see how these wicked spirits walk listen let me tell you something deliverance look at me deliverance is not just the issue of shouting and demons rolling up, up and down no now you can see this girl imagine that she's your fiance and your wedding is next week you see what we are saying I, I'm not saying she's a bad person please don't mm -mm. but you the spirit will not shout when they are joining you is when you have gotten married you see these wicked manifestations now the lord is that spirit and the spirit where the spirit of the lord is are you looking for a job who is looking for it i'm seeing hold on please listen um my sister please shift for me this fair lady where are you coming from kaduna yes, come and stand here i'm seeing someone shaking your hands that you got a job are you looking for a job let us stand up are you looking for a job yes sir hear the word of the lord i'm telling you i'm seeing god giving you a job that will surprise you there's, there's no need to cry god is here to roll away reproach and to take away shame i prophesy to you in the name of jesus according to this that the lord has revealed you will come and stand here and you will testify of your job in the name of jesus let the power of god come upon you and set you free right now now, very quickly, we are going to do two things. Please, if how many of you have written your prayer request? If you have written your prayer request, please bring it out. If you have not written it, take time to write very quickly now. Um, what is, I'm hearing Baba Silas. What is Baba Silas? Baba Silas. I don't know if that is a name or that's a name of somebody's father. Baba Silas is what I'm hearing. If there is such a person, let me just talk to the person. Now, quickly, please submit your prayer requests. Um, there will be ushers, PR, help them, or whatever department. Huh? What? Give him the mic. What's your name? What's your name? Huh? Your brother is Silas. I'm hearing you is Baba Silas. I will pray for you. Why are they coming out, please? Huh? Your father is Silas. We'll pray for you. Let me just touch you and then you go back. Let it be over in Jesus' name. Whatever it is you are standing in for, let it be over in Jesus' name. Forever. In the name of Jesus Christ by the anointing of the Holy Spirit over forever in the name of Jesus whatever the challenge is over forever in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free from sickness they will not say you have fibroid I curse that devil that lady you are carrying I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ alright please all those listen please we are going to pray for the sick now um there are so many people tonight and we have to be fast. Our time is gone. But let me say this. Whether you are in overflow one or two or three, if you are coming here particularly trusting God for fruit of the womb, whatever overflow, no matter how far, I want you to come into this main auditorium because I will pray for you. Um, alongside them, all those who are trusting God for healing, please come and stand now. Overflow one, please move to your projector stand. Um, protocol will have to help me. How many overflows do we have tonight? There are so many. Thank you for your patience. Please rise up on your feet. Stretch your hands to this place. Cry from the depth of your heart. You don't have to kneel. Please stand. Cry from the depth of your heart, Father, 
this Egyptian that I see today, I see them no more forever. Is someone stretching your hands? Pray, pray, don't look around, pray. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. In the name of Jesus, turn situations around. In the name of Jesus, wipe tears. In the name of Jesus, let impossible situations turn around. Parutas Kabarada Gadesh. Declare it. Those online follow us as we pray. We prophesy upon these requests. We pray over your request in the name that is above all names. The God of miracles. We cry, Abba Father. Hallowed. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, our Father. We cry, our Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Let me tell you this. This part of the miracle service is a very powerful part. People have recorded unspeakable testimonies, turn around by the hand of God. Father, I bow my knees in the name of Jesus. By the privilege of the grace that you have supplied, I bring before you, O oh God, the pain, the tears, the requests of your people. They have brought this as a token of their faith as proof that they believe you lord you do these things because you love us but you also do it to honor our faith therefore lord i stand in agreement with the spirit and i declare that every situation represented here turns into a testimony now every situation represented here by the God of heaven turns into a testimony now. Whoever must lose sleep for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must hear instructions from God for this request to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must be lifted for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Father, I cry in your name. Let this not just be a ceremony tonight. Your people have waited. Your people have prayed honor the faith of everyone here with strange results in the name of Jesus there are situations here that need creation it does not yet exist in the earth realm we call it from the realm of the spirit to appear in the physical realm in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord, there are situations here that only you can solve. Some of them are death sentences. Some of them are issues that relate to life and destiny. We cry to you, O God of heaven, arise tonight and do strange miracles. That by this time, next miracle service, some people will only write to intercede for others. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please keep standing, everybody. Keep standing. I want to pray for you now. Shalakuska Pratikadiash. Thank you.
for your patience, but I want to speak over your life and I want you to believe every word. Blessed is she that believes, for unto her there shall be a performance. I prophesy to you, number one, doors be open now. Doors be open now. Gates be open now. Gates be open now. Everyone here in ministry, I stretch my hands towards you. The fire, the grace, shalakatostia. The unction for a new level. The operation of the gifts of the spirit. The operation of revelatory dimensions. Step into it now in the name of Jesus. Step into it now in the name of Jesus. Let me pray over your finances. This is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. And I declare by the power of prophecy. Supernatural supplies for you. Supernatural supplies by the wisdom of God. Every pit you have found yourself in. In the name of Jesus, come out of that pit now. Come out of that pit now. Come out of that pit now. I pray for every family here that has not yet seen the goodness of God in experience this year. I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. You will return here with strange testimonies. Everything that is yours but it's not yet in your hands. I stand by the God of heaven and by prophecy, wherever it is, I command you to locate your hand and your destiny. I command you to locate your hand and your destiny. I pray for those trusting God for jobs. Father, you are the one who gives jobs. I declare that between now and the next one month, oh God of heaven, let us have strange testimonies of miracle jobs. Strange testimonies of miracle jobs. I'm praying for everybody, but this prayer particularly is for the men. The grace that establishes a man that can grant you stability whether financially structurally may that grace please believe it may that grace land on your life now structural establishment in the name of Jesus Christ every dying business in the mighty name of Jesus hear the word of the Lord I speak by the spirit let it jack back to life now. I pray for your prayer life. The fire you have not seen from January, even up until September. The grace to fast, the grace to travel, wherever you are, let it rest upon your life now. I pray for you access to the mysteries of the kingdom the grace that can open a man's eyes to scripture that you will see it. may that grace rest upon you now every opportunity that once came to you but was not well utilized and has left you in the name of Jesus and by the mercy of God I stand tonight and I call for a repeat of it. A repeat of that opportunity. A repeat of that opportunity. May God restore time. May God restore opportunities. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of your family members that has been grounded for whatever reason, in the name of Jesus, as you are standing here, may the angel of the Lord wherever they are across this nation or around the nations of the world may the angel of the Lord ensure that in this season they are lifted 
I declare that they are lifted. Anyone called barren, whether biological barrenness, financial barrenness, ministerial barrenness, I speak to you, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue. I say it again, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue. Every helper of destiny that must show up in this season for you to rise, wherever they are, I cry unto my God, who is your God? In the name of Jesus, may they appear before your destiny. Hallelujah. Some of you have been at the same level you have not gone down, but you have not gone up either. In the name of Jesus, this night, I push you by prophecy. Step into the next level. Help them, please. Step into the next level of your life. This is the month of September. When a woman is pregnant, after nine months, she's supposed to give birth. And if she does not give birth, the doctors have a way of inducing the birth in the name of Jesus. Everything in the loins of prophecy are located for you to be born in this season. I speak to you as a spiritual midwife, deliver in the name of Jesus. Everybody who spoke evil to the ears of your destiny helper. That people who should lift you. But because they had an information about you. In the name of Jesus by the blood. I declare a reconnection. I declare a reconnection. Our time is gone but please believe this. These are not empty words. They are not empty words at all. Let me pray for your finances again. This is what is squeezing people down. Squeezing families down. People are giving up on God because of tea and bread. Because of the necessities of life. Listen, Koinonia, I put a mark of exemption in this season over you. Hear me? I command poverty to leave you like the day leaves the night. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the beginning of the ember months where the spirit of death moves upon families. People who have labored when it's now time to reap, they will say obituary, survive by. I forbid the earth from receiving your body. I forbid the earth from receiving your body. Listen, and for those of you appointed unto death, whether for you or your loved ones, by the name of Jesus Christ, we extend your life in this place. I pray for every student here. I don't know what may be happening around your academics, but if it requires change, we change it now. If it requires upgrade, we upgrade it now. If it requires justice, we administer justice now. If it requires mercy, we provoke mercy now. And everyone who is in final year here, we graduate you in the name of Jesus Christ. prayers and we are done everything that represents delay stagnation or limited progress the chain that will allow you move but not so far I break that chain now in the name of Jesus I release you make progress 
I release you make progress. I release you make progress. Last prayer point. Listen to me. Honor is better than money. You can have money and not have honor. Honor is better than education. You can be educated and not have honor. The Bible says, and Jabez, not was more anointed, was more honorable than his brethren. The grace that makes for honor, that can pick you out of a crowd and separate you. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you now. adding one prayer point to my, my, my spirit and we have to pray it. And the sons of Issachar that they were men who had understanding of the times. Listen, I want to release grace for discernment. It's important to know you can miss seasons just because you are not alive. You can they will come back but it will take a long time. But I pray for you, the grace for discernment, to know seasons, receive that grace now. Maybe I should add one more prayer point. Some of you are praying, Lord, where do I go from here? Should I travel out of the country? Should I relocate to Abuja? Should I go to Lagos? See. Destiny decisions are never to be taken carelessly. Please hold on, hold on. Relax with this thing. You're praying. Listen, there are destiny decisions in life that you need the help of God. Who to marry? Where to live? How many children to give birth to? It looks natural, but it's spiritual. You can give birth to what will fight your blessing. Who to associate with. And Lot went with him. And Jonah went with them. Their experiences were not the same. I pray for you. That in the matters of destiny. May the veil. The haziness. Let it be torn into pieces tonight. I know a gentleman who had an evangelistic call. Sincere person with an evangelistic call. He went to open a church and he began to struggle to pieces as if God did not send him. No offering, no support, no open door. He was struggling because the pastoral grace was not there. Well intentioned, but no discernment. Again, I pray for you. Whatever you are doing now, that is not in the blueprint of your destiny. Whether ministerially speaking, business-wise, maritally speaking, I declare a correction now. I declare a correction now. Elijah was asked to wait at Bucheri for a season, not forever. And a raven brought bread, food for him, and he drank from the brook. But a time came when the brook dried. God needed to change strategy. If Elijah did not know he would die there, the same God can help you for 10 years. But by the 11th year, you will change strategy. And if you cannot discern what blessed you before can kill you, I pray for you the grace to know when to switch. The grace to know when God is saying something else. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. Let the name of the Lord be glorified forever and ever. Jesus remains Lord. Amen. Where is that, my friend, who has been waiting for the altar call?
he will be the first to come and stand here. While he stands, I want everybody here, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, overflow four, and all the other overflows. You are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus, I need him fast, and I need him seriously. Whether to surrender your heart for the first time, or you are saying, I want to rededicate my life. He cannot be the only one here. Wherever you are, quickly come and join him. Quickly come and join him. I will only count one to five. If you are coming from outside, please rush. Come and join them. You are saying, Apostle, let this be the night that I encounter Jesus. Is there someone like that? One. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Two. Please, if you are coming from outside, rush. Run to Jesus. Three. Please clear the way for them. If it's for the altar call, let them come. Apostle, I want to come, but my friend is stopping me. May that friend leave you alone in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to come, but people know me. He says that he who denies me for men, I will deny before my father. You have to rush to come. Someone is coming. Those coming from outside, please rush, 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 rush quickly. Please. Just encourage them so that they will come and stand. Hallelujah. Now, I sincerely.